Given its vast expanse, huge time spans, and countless entities, comprehending the cosmos as a comprehensive construct proves challenging. Although the actual dimensions of the universe can often appear abstract and hard to fathom, the inquiry into the genesis of the universe is equally perplexing. How did our galactic abode come into being seemingly from nothingness? What insights do we possess regarding the genesis of the Big Bang? And what initiated the sequence of cosmic events that persists ceaselessly to this day? Collaborating with you, we seek answers to these riveting queries. Would you like to accompany us on our expedition to uncover the universe's greatest enigmas? Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy and activate the notification bell to stay updated on our future releases. Liking our content encourages us and signifies your engagement with the substance of our videos. The commonly used proverb states, nothing comes from nothing. This phrase often applies to one's work ethic and daily life, but it also highlights a paradox in the field of astronomy. How can the universe, in this case, emerge from nothing? Our conventional understanding suggests that something can only exist if it originates from pre-existing material or another component already present in the cosmos. Consequently, the fundamental question arises, from where did the material come that gave rise to the Big Bang? And how was this originating component of the universe formed? To comprehend how certain experts approach this intricate inquiry, we must advance the timeline by billions of years. One theory proposes that eventually, the last star and the universe will burn out, leading to a cosmos transformed into a lightless void. The demise of the final star signifies the beginning of an immensely dark and desolate period, during which all matter will be devoured by colossal black holes. These gravitational behemoths will eventually evaporate as well. Meanwhile, space will continue to expand until cosmic activity ceases entirely, or will it? In reality, some researchers strongly believe that this empty, dark, and frigid universe that will emerge in the distant future might have been the foundation of our own Big Bang. Before delving further into the intricate details of this captivating theory, let's first explore the inception of physical matter itself. When we seek to elucidate the origins of stable matter, tracing it back from molecules or atoms, we encounter a complexity. Such matter did not exist during the epoch of the Big Bang, nor did it manifest in the subsequent millennia. While contemporary experts can now comprehend the emergence of the first atoms from simpler particles when the appropriate conditions were established to maintain the stability of complex matter, explaining how something can arise from nothing remains a conundrum. To navigate this, it's prudent to cast our minds back even further. Around 110 thousandth of a second after the Big Bang, protons and neutrons, forming the nucleus of an atom, stood as the earliest long-lived particles of matter in the universe. Prior to this, matter in the truest sense of the term did not exist. Fortuitously, the realm of physics permits us to trace this timeline back even earlier to the processes that transpired before the establishment of stable matter. This era is termed the Great Unified Epoch in the realm of experts. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that we're entering the domain of speculative physics at this juncture, as contemporary experiments lack the requisite energy to faithfully replicate the processes of that era. A prevailing thesis in this context postulates that during this period, the physical realm consisted of a blend of short-lived elementary particles, including quarks, the fundamental constituents of protons and neutrons. The interplay between matter and antimatter might have existed in a meticulous equilibrium. This implies that each kind of matter particle had a mirror image antimatter counterpart, differing from its counterpart in just one aspect. Nonetheless, matter and antimatter annihilate each other upon contact. This dynamic led the physical particle realm to oscillate between perpetual destruction and renewal. However, even this configuration fails to provide an explanation for the origin of these particles. Quantum field theory contends that even a vacuum, which typically denotes empty space, rims with physical activity. This activity manifests as energy fluctuations, perpetually changing states. These fluctuations could potentially lead to the transient emergence and subsequent disappearance of particles. In fact, 
Researchers have already succeeded in identifying such particles in experiments. Even within the vacuum of space-time, particles seem to materialize out of nothing, only to dissolve once more. Let us now delve into the inquiry of how the very fabric of space-time itself came into existence. To unravel this enigma of the cosmos, we must venture into what is referred to as the Planck era. This era signifies the initial phase in the universe's evolution after the occurrence of the Big Bang. As universally agreed upon by experts, during this time, there existed a sole fundamental force, aptly named the primordial force. In practical terms, this encompassed gravity, electromagnetism, the weak interaction, and the strong interaction, all being indistinguishable from one another. The predicament arises from the fact that our current theories lack the capability to decipher the physics of the Planck era in a comprehensible manner. To gain a comprehensive understanding of the Planck era, we would require a theory of quantum gravity, an amalgamation of quantum mechanics and general relativity. While no definitive models exist, there are promising avenues such as string theory or loop quantum gravity. In these frameworks, space and time are viewed as emergent phenomena. Emergence, in general, signifies the potential for the formation of novel properties or structures within a system due to the interactions of its constituent elements. What we perceive as space and time in our reality emerges from intricate quantum processes taking place at levels that elude our direct perception. Given that our conventional comprehension faces limitations within the Planck era, our customary notions of cause and effect do not hold true there. Despite this, credible theories of quantum gravity depict a physical occurrence within the primordial epoch of the universe, acting as a precursor to conventional space and time. However, another question naturally arises. Whence did this physical phenomenon originate? The sobering response is that, as of now, we lack knowledge on this matter. What remains certain is that within the realm of physics, no confirmed instances exist where something emerges from absolute nothingness. In wrapping up today's video, let's delve deeper into the intriguing theory we introduced at the outset of our video. Physicist Roger Penrose has proposed a captivating, albeit contentious model that outlines a cyclic universe. Penrose recognized that there are compelling mathematical resemblances between an exceedingly hot, densely packed early state of the universe, as commonly hypothesized in the context of the Big Bang, and an exceedingly cold, expansively empty state of the cosmos projected to occur in the distant future. These acknowledged similarities led Penrose to a unique deduction. When these described states are pushed to their limits, they exhibit mathematical identity. Hence, the paradox that emerges is that the complete absence of matter could have been the origin of all the matter currently present in the universe. From this perspective, our present universe may have originated from a state that comes as close as possible to the often cited notion of nothingness, namely, from that which remains if the entire matter of the cosmos were annihilated by black holes, subsequently decaying and transforming into photons. But how can it be comprehended that a cold, empty universe is equivalent to a hot, densely packed universe? To fathom this, we need to venture into a complex mathematical process known as conformal scaling. In simpler terms, this entails a geometric transformation that alters the size of an object while preserving its shape. Penrose's models illustrate how the two states of the universe can be correlated in a manner that aligns the shapes of their spacetime. Admittedly, the notion that two entities are indistinguishable despite their differing sizes may appear challenging to grasp. However, Penrose asserts that size doesn't hold paramount significance under such extreme physical circumstances. The same principle applies to time, the cold, empty state, and the hot, densely packed state of the universe exist on distinct timelines. While the cold, empty state appears to observers as if it might endure eternally, the hot, densely packed state that emerged from it follows its distinct timeline. Even if Penrose's conjecture were to one day find confirmation, there remain profound queries to address. How was the cyclic system proposed by the physicists originated? From whence does physical reality itself arise? Why does existence itself persist? Undoubtedly, these questions are immensely intricate and might never attain definitive answers. 
Yet, it is precisely this enigmatic quality that renders their exploration so captivating. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments, and don't miss our latest exciting videos available right here.